okay let me just repeat a few things um, sorry guys so um so first thing uh, is that um about your uh, status of report right uh, please submit it uh, before 9 a.m tomorrow india time um e-learning students same thing please do post it on your discussion page before 9 a.m tomorrow okay the other question is um, about the questionnaires uh, authorization letter for questionnaires if you have any survey or questionnaires um, i will give it and i will take a look at the questionnaire and then uh, you know i'll give an authorization letter uh, stating that you're a student and you're a final year student and pursuing this um, degree and therefore uh, would require the respondent to uh, you know take part in that survey so i will mention that so please do send the question questionnaire right okay and then the third um, query was from shri kumar so asking what should be the sample size when we say sample size we are talking about um, the the uh, the number of questionnaires the number of responses uh, we're talking typically about a survey or a questionnaire right so where we need a, a quantitative qualitative analysis in order to form a conclusion okay so let's say uh, you want to say today's young people are uh, are not interested in coming to church okay so when you say today's young people of course you need to focus and say okay how old are these people what is the gender what kind of you know uh, what is the group that you have actually getting this information from okay that's one thing second thing is how many have you asked you know i can't ask like two or three and then come to the conclusion today's you know younger young people are not interested in church like i can't come to that i need so um, that's why we're looking at at least uh, at least 50 50 kung not 15 um, at least 50 if it is something of this nature Okay, so in your case, uh, Kung, you're looking at um, uh, your, you know, creativity in ministry, right? Creative arts in ministry. So you would ideally be, um, you know, uh, asking people who are in leadership, right? Church leadership, leadership in ministry, and finding out how, you know, uh, they are. So in that case, I would say, you know, maybe you can put it as twenty. Or even 15 years so you're talking about you know 20 churches or 20 ministries um, maybe we can look at half the number say 25 you know we can uh, so the response will be yes the response will be no the response could be uh, you know we are too small you know various things so maybe that if since you're contacting churches or ministries you could put it as 25 okay half that number but if it's going to be an individual response uh, for a particular a conclusion, right? Uh, it's good to have it as 50, if not more. Okay. Uh, again, it depends on the scope. Again, I just I'm just repeating that. It depends on the scope of that research. Uh, so um, 50 or more would give you a a fair, a realistic uh, analysis picture. So that is, so Shri Kumar, I hope that uh, helps. Um, Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, any other questions based on specific to your, uh, your work, your research? Is there anything? Um, can, Okay, yeah, that's fine, uh, Kennedy. So, what is the nature of your? What is the topic again? You can interview a music Muslim cleric. Fine, but what is the your the research topic again, please? Um, um, So I'm just opening the sheet. Okay, spiritual burnout. Now, see, spiritual burnout, Kennedy, typically we're talking about church, right? I think that's the topic, spiritual bur burnout among among the leadership in church. So it's better to 
uh, avoid that a Muslim cleric. So maybe, I mean, I, mean, I don't know, maybe you can, uh, so one off thing you can, you know, and say, okay, even a, you know, person from a Islamic background, for them also, you know, this is, but the, the thing is, the commonality is, uh, you know, is, is not there in the sense here yeah, we're talking about the word of God, the spirit of God, um, you know, uh, and uh, also worship and prayer and everything. Um, whom we have, you know, the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, and and then despite that, we are saying, right, we're talking about spiritual burnout. So um, I'm just wondering whether there could be any commonality uh, because it, they, it's not clearly it's not. Um, so. But you could, you know, as a one-off thing, to say that, to state the fact that, um, okay, even in this kind of a worldview, worldview, where there is a possibility of spiritual burnout for X, Y, Z reason, you could state that as an added point, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I just uh, excuse me for a minute, please? Just one minute. I just think, uh, please think of any other questions that you might want to ask. Uh, just give me a minute, just one second. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so any other questions? Okay, so uh, so for those of you who, who probably are going to be getting your information from the first, uh, from, you know, um, uh, in, through a survey or a questionnaire, uh, you need to really, uh, uh, I mean, get that questionnaire in finalized form, right? Um, whatever you are going to ask, because it's uh, you need to refine the you know the question uh, and see you know is that what you really want, right? That you, you know, so you so maybe some questions are open ended. We looked at that, right? Open ended, close ended, close ended meaning you you it's a it's a multiple choice and people just have to tick uh, choose one of that like three or four options whatever um, they just need to choose that but if it's open ended that means that they are giving um, um, you know they are their views or their thoughts and it's not just one point two point it could be uh, you know many things so um, so you need to kind of decide on that okay and uh, uh, and bring the questionnaire to finalized form very quickly so that you can start sending it out so we are now this is the last day of february we're getting into march so so we need to you know get that and get the information in right and then once the information comes in you need to put it together uh in a table uh you know a table of sorts uh, and then a statistical table is what i mean and analyze it and see the responses and based on which you know you're forming your conclusions right so um so that phase will also take time so so kindly uh, finalize the questionnaire uh, send it out and maybe you know sometimes you might get half filled responses which you cannot use so so that's the thing so always you know give out more so that you can get the required number um, and give out more than the required number so that uh, you know some people might say okay i don't I didn't have time. I didn't respond. You know, I don't want to answer. Whatever. So you can um, get the required number of responses, right? So please uh, work at it. Yeah, uh, Prabhakar, I, I saw your uh, thing. I will. I will check. Okay. Um, okay. So Abhinash is asking: Should we mention their names also? So Abhinash, you I think you're. Uh, if you are talking, still talking about the questionnaires. You're uh, asking whether their names should be mentioned. Okay, so um, it depends if you would want to protect their identity, then 
or if you feel that um, you know the information that is um, that is that you're you know requesting is sensitive in nature like if you're asking about you know personal trauma or you know people who had gone through you know maybe physical abuse etc and and so um, you know they they might not want their identity to be known right they might not want their names to be revealed um, and at most they could give you know in, uh, information like maybe their gender and age and, and so on right so if 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 it is of that nature you can frame your questionnaire in such a way that the names are you know not mentioned um but if it is um you know if it is something else then you can you know can feel free to get the names right okay so do we have to attach the questionnaire with the paper well a sample questionnaire would definitely need to be needs to be um yeah part of the report because you're saying okay this is what i used right so you would definitely so Srikumar's question is do we have to attach a questionnaire with the uh, project report so yes because whatever questionnaire that you're using whatever method i would say whatever method you're using you need to mention that and uh, you know the model of it a uh, sample of it so yeah um so i have put up the reference of my research so let me just go through it uh, asha uh, yeah uh, and then i'll i'll so i don't know what you mean by reference so are you referring to uh, you know whatever information or books that you read and uh, so you're you're putting that reference you're citing that as the source uh, in your research is that is that what you're saying yeah yeah you you need to do that you definitely need to do that because if it's the, if, if it's you're using any uh, or quoting any original work or a previous research done uh, which you have you know, looked at the internet and you're you know you're uh, quoting that in your research paper definitely you need to uh, you need to cite that otherwise it will be plagiarism right what we saw earlier um, because if you are presenting something as your own views, which is which is actually somebody someone else's work or someone else's uh, report, then that will be plagiarism. So yeah, we, we we need to definitely avoid that. So we need to cite the source, author, book. You know uh, that MLA report has that format. Okay, so you need to mention that. Um, but for the status of the report also you know you you can just mention that okay um uh, help in the use of google forms i'm using that i can use google forms for the survey free of charge yeah so survey monkey is i think they have some paid services google form is uh, pretty um yeah versatile you can use that um and uh, maybe someone in class who can help you know, can just take their help and do it it's it's fairly simple chris um yeah um okay so uh, Charles's question is: uh, You want to use a plagiarism checker? Yeah, there are some tools which are available online, which are free plagiarism checkers. Um, checker tool, I think Grammarly has one. Um, yeah, Grammarly has a free plagiarism checker, so you could use that. Let me just um, put the link here. Um, I haven't used this myself, but you could uh, write out. You can just go to Grammarly.com otherwise, and uh, and go to uh, one of the uh, you know one of one of the tools which will be so let me just put that down grammarly.com yeah 
you can so you could use that so uh, answering uh, chris uh, so chris it's uh, it's a fairly simple so maybe one of the students can you know just help out or if i see a you know a video how to uh, forms i think if you find that helpful you can probably share with the others also any youtube how to video uh, how to use google forms um Surveys. Um, there are some videos. Um, let me just uh, send you a couple of those links. Maybe it will help the class. I haven't checked these videos. So, um, creating online questionnaire. Um, Okay. Just a minute. There's a yeah. This is a, I think this is a fairly good one. Let me put it here. Um. Yeah, we use uh, Google Forms for it uh, all. Actually, all of my um, question papers previous semesters, if you had, uh, you know, uh, all those are using Google Forms. Anyway, here's this uh, view. It's a step-by-step, -step, um, you know, how to create questionnaires using Google, I mean, sorry, using Google Forms. So there are plenty of those. So you just try this and see if it helps. Yeah. Uh, I think the yeah the most important thing is uh, giving access. You know, <laughs> like uh, that's where uh, I've also struggled. You know, you create the form and then you make some last minute changes, then it changes the access setting, and that's how you know you uh, many of you have got back to me on the stream saying you're not able to open it, access it, and you know last minute change, and then that reverts back to, to the default um, you know access rights. Um, so it kind of um, yeah. Uh, limits the access um, and then we need to change it again so that's that's the only uh, part where you need to be careful and think yeah so otherwise it's uh, it's quite good okay um yeah any other questions so we've been talking about questionnaires we're talking about survey sample size um, talking about uh, how to create online questionnaires using Google Forms. Um, what else? We've been talking about whether to include people's identity in the questionnaires. Well, it depends. Um, if you feel that, you know, giving people's identity and they are, maybe they are. Uh, you know their role, their uh, uh, you know whatever they are functioning as. You know their title, job title, everything will will add weight to the information that you're getting, right? Uh, and uh, which means that you need to get their permission. Also, mention that you know is it okay to mention your name, right? So, um, but um, yeah, so you need to be uh, kind of you need to get their permission. Right. Um, so if you feel that, okay, this person's job role, their title, the name, you know, maybe, a, you know, it adds weight to the research. Their response in the questionnaire adds weightage to the report, I mean, to the research, to the conclusion, you know, by all means, uh, do that. Yeah. Um, but if you want to keep the name uh, anonymous because of the sensitive nature of the information that they're sharing, um, then you add other information like the gender, the you know, in what role are they doing, uh, you know, what kind of work, what kind of occupation, or uh, you know, social standing. All those things you can make so that uh, it gives the other you know information so that your conclusion is stronger, right? Um, okay. Anything? Anything else?
Okay. By the way, starting from tomorrow, we have our um, um, you know month of worship and prayer weekdays, seven p.m. to nine p.m., which is also streamed uh, um, on Zoom. So um, feel free to log in. Uh, it'll be an hour of worship followed by prayer. Feel free to be part of it. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, and also tomorrow, I think we have our mentoring hour in the morning uh, for all the online students. So uh, please do log in um, as well, right? OK. OK, any, any more questions, you can uh, feel free to you know email me. Uh, feel free to put it on the stream. Um, and I'll be glad to respond to that. OK. OK, so we'll close now. If there are no more questions, um, we'll stop right here and uh, pick up in our next class, right? Okay. Okay, thanks everyone. Hey, all the very best. Uh, let's uh, shift gears, uh, pick up momentum in the work that we're doing. And uh, just to remind you, uh, tomorrow 9 a.m. India time is, uh, you know, is a uh, cutoff date for submitting your status, project status report. Thank you. God bless. Have a good day.